Okay, welcome to tonight's nightcap. I have my husband here. And we're going to get into some stuff. I have some questions to ask him. We're going to talk about something. But before we get into that, I definitely want to talk about my drink of the night. And then I'm going to show you our little snack tray we have. So y'all, we're gonna try pine berries tonight. Comment down below if you've ever tried pine berries. They're like these like white strawberries. Babe and I have not tried these. We have some apples, some pepper, and some laughing cow cheese. So that's what we have. And then I also have my little dilly bites over here. So for tonight's drink, I'm going to be doing a little scoop of rainbow sherbet and then I have my strawberry vanilla Olipop. So I'm going to just add this to the drink and that's going to be the drink of the night. Hubby has some water over there. So yeah, babe, can you open that for me, please? Of course. So let's get into our first topic. So I realized that I had mentioned during my Christmas haul that I got a gift from a male coworker. And then I don't know if I actually uploaded this yet, but me and that same male coworker, for the sake of the video, we're gonna call him Marvin. We went to the bookstore together alone and <laughs> I think <laughs> I think that like when I was talking about this I wasn't realizing or really thinking about how it would come off because you know we have our thoughts on whether or not people of the opposite sex can be like platonic friends so babe what are your thoughts? This is a drink, y'all. I'd say, I think for me, for the longest time, I believed that mm, f female and male could not be friends. Just because but I men felt and like- women. Or, okay, men and women could not be friends just because I felt like there was always something there. Um, But I will say that over time my opinion of that has changed and but let's not get it twisted she only get one friend that's a male and that's this guy so and it don't go the other way around yeah he is not allowed to hang out with any women but i do have to put on the fact that i understand what it is to have that friendship and to have that social outlet with a friend I mean, I've had the same three friends since middle school. Yeah. So, I understand that and I get that. So, what baby's saying is, I don't have friends. <laughs> so, me and this particular coworker, we met, I think, the same year that Hubby and I got married. And Marvin is married, too. So, he has a wife. And it's just a unique situation with Marvin in particular. Like, I would not be asking hubby or exchanging gifts with, like, any other man. Like, Marvin is a particular person. I think, like, as far as our friendship goes, it's kind of like we've been through a lot. And the type of work that I do is such... Um, emotional work it's like very difficult work so the bond that marvin and i have is not at all romantic he has seen every side of me um yeah so it's just kind of like a one odd type situation so i don't want you all to think that i'm just like kicking it with men and it's whatever or hubby is kicking it with women because it's not gonna happen but i just wanted to briefly talk about that and definitely let me know down below if you believe that men and women can be 
platonic. So please let us know. Baby, you can have any of this if you want. And then now I'm going to ask hubby some juicy questions. But before we get into that, let's try these pine berries. Yeah, I hope it just looks like it's going to be like an unsweet, unsweet, unsweet strawberry. But I'm hoping that it tastes like pineapple. Oh, it doesn't taste unsweet. It's really good. It is pretty good. It doesn't taste like you would think looking at it. Okay, okay. Not bad. Mm -mm. That was good. I would get those again. Okay. Hubby doesn't know any of these questions. I just pulled them up. So we're going to ask a few. Um, what was the first feature you noticed of mine? Mm. It had to be your smile. Okay. Especially from your profile pic. Hubby and I met online, so that's why he's saying that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Do I ever make you nervous? Nervous? Mm-hmm. I say the only time you make me nervous is when we're either doing a recipe that you found that you're really excited about. Uh -huh. Cause it's like if it don't hit, it's gonna suck and be disappointed. Uh -huh. Or when I'm planning something out for you and I wanna make and I'm pretty that you like it. Okay. So yeah, I would say those times. Okay, okay. This one is juicy, y'all. Okay. What is your favorite place to make out? Favorite place? Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, that's a tough one. I like it everywhere. So you're not if particular? I to, if I had, no, I'm not particular. If I had to pick a favorite place, I got a couple. I mean, I like the car. Mm, okay. Um, I like when we first wake up in the morning. Mm. All the, and then especially, you know, when we come home from work. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go back. Some of these questions are too spicy. Um, what do I do that makes you smile? I would say when you're excited about something. When you're excited about something, like your enthusiasm and how like you smiling from ear to ear, that's always exciting. That always makes me smile. I'm a very Especially polar. like when you find something that you've been looking for. Yeah. Speaking of that, I found the Conversation Heart shorts. I did try them on. They are a little big. They only had like I think the, the larger size that they carry, and they are a little big on, but I'm still happy that I found them. So I did find them. And I did break out my Valentine's Day Conversation Heart Cup. So I'm super pumped about that too. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Hmm. What can we ask you on ask, this video? Babe. Ask you.
Yeah, I still haven't taken the sticker off my cup. Don't be like me. <laughs> Where's your favorite place to kiss? Um. I really like the movies. Like, the movies, I feel like, is that quintessential, like, date. Like, when you were growing up, like, that was, like, just the date spot. It's, like, going to the movies. So, it always, like, takes me back to feeling like, you know. Okay. It's one of my favorite dates to go on is the movie. So, I really like that. <sighs> Great. What else you got? What's your biggest turn on? Can we say that? Yeah. Okay. Mine is actually not even like a sexual thing. I really like like sweet guys. Like when a guy is sweet, he's kind, he's a gentleman, he's thoughtful. All of the things that the world kind of like mocks is what I like most in men like i'm such a relationship kind of girl so like if we've had a good date we went out and you know we've enjoyed ourselves we had like one-on-one -on -one time seeing that you put a lot of like thought and care into the date like that would be a big turn off for me just you being a gentleman All right, y'all, I will invite hubby back for another nightcap. Y'all just let me know what types of things you want me to ask him. You can leave it down in the comments. And definitely let me know if you are gonna try the pine berries. We really like them. And also let me know um, if you think men and women can be platonic friends. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know, let me know, let me know. And yeah, I think we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna finish off these snacks, watch a movie or something. But I hope you all had a good night and I hope you enjoyed this nightcap. Enjoy your night.